Hi there, this is Lloyd from LloydMacedo.com and who is LloydMacedo.com? Today is the 12th of May 2014 at 7.55 in the evening. Now, I, I got this email from a student. I cannot mention her name because I respect confidentiality. And before I even start uh, giving you the contents of this email, I need you to know that I'm neutral. I don't support anyone. I don't condone anyone. I don't you know, speak against any institute. I'm just speaking what is being written to me and making it public because these these kids, these youngsters want to, you know, somebody to listen to them. So I'm just putting it on a public platform. Feel free to state your views and know that I'm giving you a disclaimer. I don't support anyone. I just want, you know, the best thing for these students. So she says, uh, I am a student of our own English high school, Dubai. The school is the so-called world's largest all-girls school. Okay, I didn't know that. Anyway, okay. Uh, I study in the 10th prime stage of rectifying studies. You are absolutely right, CBSE. Uh, you know, if you're doing CBSE. Oh, yeah, okay, CBSE. CBSE is the, the pressure point, the pressure cooker where everything explodes. Now, CBSE has started a way of assessment, CCE, that is Continuous and Comprehensive Evaluation. Uh, okay, sounds sophisticated. This is a system initiated to lessen our burden, okay? But in reality, it has increased it. Now that sucks, okay? Our school has made the matter worse by more load of homework. I, I kind of notice this pattern. I, I seriously do not know why they give so much of homework, okay? Uh, in fact, in order to please the KHDA, I think that is the authority, the you know educational authority, they made a homework timetable which consists of three subjects per day, okay? But in reality, we have been given much more homework than allotted to us, okay? Um, I don't know. Whatever you say. Secondly, so the first problem, what you're saying is uh, to please the KHDA, our own English, our own English high school Dubai gives you a lot more homework than you're supposed to get. Now you can look at it in two ways. One way you can look at it as something competitive. Okay. See, I'm, I'm just giving my thought process. On uh, one hand, you can look at it as something really competitive, something that really pushes you to the edge, something that really makes you work hard. Okay. You can look at it in that way, or you can look at it in the way that, oh, there's so much of pressure, oh, there's so many problems. See, I, I'm just giving you my idea. I'm just sharing this out. Um, most of you kids have a lot of free time on your hands. So how are you going to spend that? Are you going to spend it on Facebook? Are you going to spend it on uh, playing with your friends? Uh, don't you think, you know, you need to take your career a little bit seriously? So look at both the sides. You can't look at it as, okay, let's not give them any homework. Let them do whatever they want once they go home. Because today, kids are... Kids have much more avenues to get distracted and um, you need to discipline yourself. So in a way, I feel what the school is doing is good. But at the same time, if they are misusing that, I think it is bad. Okay, just my opinion. Next one. Secondly, our school has removed the locks of the bathrooms just because seven, just because of seven students go to the seven, I don't know, seven students go to the bathroom and take so-called selfies. Now that's stupid, okay? Rooming locks is stupid, but I don't know if someone has done something, if, if someone got locked inside or someone tried to do something drastic inside, maybe that's why they removed locks, I don't know. What about the rest of 1,000 students? We have no privacy. Why would you want to be in the toilet? Seriously speaking, why would you want to be in the toilet? And when you're in the toilet, I, I don't know, just go in and get out. In fact, just to, you know, just to let you know, in China, one of my friends is from China, in China, they don't even have doors. They just have open toilets. You go, do whatever you want. People just leave it open. So I don't know why would you uh, want to sit in the toilet for too long. Agreed, there's no privacy. Maybe you can do something. Uh, even if this embarrasses you, we cannot literally change our pads due to the humiliation and female maids take photos of us. That is, that is wrong. That is seriously so very, very wrong. Uh, I think this needs to be addressed. This seriously needs to be addressed. If you girls, you know, need your privacy with a lock, I think, uh, I, I really think this needs to be addressed. I don't know. I feel this needs to be addressed and uh, it can be really bad. I, I really don't know what your school is thinking. Honestly, I, I, I don't know. As far as I would say, I think um, maybe, maybe you need to have a solution for this. Maybe you need to look at it from the point of view is, how, even if they don't put locks, how can you have that sense of privacy without anyone barging in? I think you need to look at it because uh, 
you know, if there's somebody, in, if I'm going and pooping or shitting in the toilet and someone just breaks open, I think I would be embarrassed. So I think your school should treat you like mature adults and should put the locks back in. Okay, so it's a shame. It's a shame. Third, thirdly, common in all our schools, KHDA drama. Okay, now what is that? KHDA comes to our schools during September. All the drama starts, all start the drama when the KHD announce their arrival, okay? Once written to the KHD to make the surprise inspection in schools, they replied with the answer, no, as they need some documents during the inspection that can't be prepared on the spot. Now, the question is, how do you know this? You're a student. How do you know what the teachers are doing? So, you know, obviously, I would have that question. The school makes us do homework, which I don't see a problem, okay? They give us worksheets, they give us interactive sessions and so on. All right. Okay. That, that's the only week we understand something. Hmm. Now, wait, wait, let me understand this. One side you're telling me that your school is giving you too, many, too much of homework. And here you're saying that they give you homework. So that is good. So now there is a clash. You want homework or you don't want homework. You want more work or you don't want more. So my, my, my dear, you're clashing from both. Okay. I know it's a letter that is abruptly framed, which is okay, but I want the conditions of the school to be brought on a global platform. Now, see, listen, Sweda, um, it's very easy for, it's very easy to give suggestions. It's very easy to complain about things, but you need to understand that um, when you're changing a system, when you're, when you're changing a system or when you have a system in place and you want to change the system, it's not that easy. It's it, it, See, even if the school requested you change the, uh, let's remove all the bathroom locks. There must have been an incident. There must have been maybe a guy and girl went in the toilet or maybe uh, a girl went in the toilet and she got locked or she fainted or maybe a girl went inside and tried to do something drastic like, uh, you know, cut her wrist or something like that, something. Or maybe one, maybe a girl, I'm, I'm just thinking, maybe a girl went inside and she was chatting with someone and nobody could get her out. So there must be a reason why an institute does something and you need to understand see our own english high school is managed by gems okay they are the number one they are the number one and they are number one for a reason okay so agreed that there are a lot of things which they do you're not comfortable with but this is what i i tell people this is what i tell uh, there are people who complain to me about their company about the country it's very simple if you don't like the system leave one second i got a phone Okay, let me, okay. Uh, if there are people who complain about Dubai, I tell them, if you don't like Dubai, leave. There are people who complain about their company. My company is crap. This company that I'm working for takes care leave. Now, if you don't like the school, leave. It's as simple as that. See, because you're asking them to change their, okay, agreed. These are problems you don't like, but you're asking the entire school to change because of your opinion. In fact, if you ask each and every student, everyone has a different opinion. But in the end, you need to understand that. Um, our own English high school or the GEMS management, they have some of the best professionals who are employed from around the world to, you know, to run the show, to set systems in place. And they must have really thought about it. I know that you must be not comfortable with this and you have a lot of ideas. My, my suggestion to you would be this. You, you run a school. You try to do something by yourself. If you so strongly believe and see what differences you can make. Yes. It is not good that uh, girls have no privacy in the toilets, but I'm sure they must have thought of something. Agreed that, uh, and obviously you are asking for more homework when the KHDA comes and then you're saying, no, you don't want more homework. So there's a clash. So what I just suggest simply is this, focus on what you can do best for yourself instead of complaining about the system. See how you can excel and become something in life. And remember this, uh, there is nobody who is satisfied. Everyone wants something different. Everyone wants something new. So if the school starts changing for each and every student, I don't think the school would survive. The reason why GEMS is number one, because it has certain systems and policies in place. You focus on your career, see what you can do best and try to make the best out of your life. Because if you can become something in life, it doesn't matter. And uh, last but not the least, I would just tell you is, uh, uh, you know, I believe you have a lot of potential to be something in life because you have the courage to write to me. So use the same fire to make something out of your life and become something, okay? And if you're so passionate about the school system, one day you set up your own and see how does it work, okay? So this is my view. I'm not supporting the school. I'm not supporting it. I'm trying to be as neutral as possible. So Lloyd, LloydMacedo.com and from whoislloydmacedo.com. 
sharing you from this student from our own English high school, Dubai, and whatever grievances he had. So, you got any email, send it to me. Very happy to share my opinions. Goodbye.